What's up, YouTube? I'm G Infinite. Today we got another exciting series. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the Hulkbuster. At the end of this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about his origin, but I'm going to get directly into the figures. For those of you, please subscribe. Um, if you want, hit that bell for the notification for the next episode. And like I said, I'm G Infinite. Today's series is on Tony Stark's uh, greatest invention, the Hulkbuster. The first Hulkbuster I'm going to be talking about is the 2005 Toy Biz Hulkbuster. This 2005 Toy Biz Hulkbuster is uh, very, very cool. I definitely like it because it has a glider. The glider gives it that, that real image. Um, and anything that can support the Hulkbuster suit has got to be amazing. So I'm assuming that glider was made especially for the Hulkbuster suit. Um, the Hulkbuster, very, very cool in the 2005 Toy Biz because one of the things that this Hulkbuster does that many of the other Hulkbusters cannot do is that this Hulkbuster here, uh, you can remove the helmet and actually see the real man behind it, uh, which is Tony Stark himself. Tony Stark being the inventor of the Hulkbuster. Very, very cool. Toy Biz did an amazing job with this one. Uh, one thing that I also like is that uh, this is called the Legendary Rider Series from the Hulkbuster Iron Man. This Toy Biz model, uh, usually you could find it, if you can find it now, it's usually 50 bucks or more. I love it, the helmet comes up. Uh, I like the work that uh, Toy Biz did with it on the arms. It looks almost like he has, like almost like a ninja look to it uh, on the side of the arms. There's like some padding, some brown padding. Uh, very, very cool what they did with the back. Um, definitely, they could have added more metallic to it, uh, but yeah, it's traditional gold and red, like the Hulkbuster should be. Uh, I like the hands a lot. The hands can close and open up. Uh, very, very cool. But definitely, one of the main features of this Hulkbuster that I love the most of the 2005 wave is the fact that you can see the man behind the scene, Tony Stark. The next figure that I'm going to be talking about is the Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster. This Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster does it all. It's, it's the largest Hulkbuster suit out. Uh, this is by Hasbro Toys. Hasbro did a great job with the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. Um, this Hulkbuster is usually $65 to $80. Uh, what I like about him is that he comes in a really cool set. He's part of the Avengers Infinite series and he comes with uh, Blizzard, Doctor Strange, Vision, uh, and War Machine, and some others. So, what I love about this figure in particularly is the tones of metal that they gave him. They gave him that metallic, the metallic tones on the arms. They gave him metallic tones on the legs. And, of course, the boots look amazing. Very, very big. Very, very, uh, very mechanical. Very cool look to him. I like the way they modeled this one. He is the largest in size as far as the Hulkbuster suits and uh, Hasbro Toys came out with this one. I love, love the, the gold tones that they put on him and of course the, he looks a lot more uh, mechanical than all the other Hulkbusters. So definitely this is one of the Hulkbusters that they took a lot of time and a lot of work to put into it. Uh, they did a great job. The only part um, that maybe could have been better is if the hands would open up, uh, but the hands don't. Uh, you know, they're, they're like in their official stands of fighting, but um, definitely that's one of the things. It could have been a little bit more uh, flexible with the hands as far as that, but aside from that, the size is cool. The, the look is amazing. Definitely gave it the look that the, any Hulkbuster would be worthy of having. Uh, the next Hulkbuster I'm going to be talking about is the Disney exclusive Hulkbuster. Now, this Hulkbuster is uh, by Marvel Diamond Select, a very, very cool Hulkbuster. They could have done a lot more with him, but of course, you know, Disney uh, decided to go uh, this route. What I did like about what they did with this Hulkbuster is it has a little bit more of the metallic red and more of a metallic gold. Uh, definitely like the, the, the blue in the eyes so you can know that the actual Hulkbuster is actually turned on and ready to go. Um, in, in, on the back of this Hulkbuster, they made it a little bit more different. It has here, as you can tell, some type of uh, metal on the, on the upper back 
I guess it's to actually make it flexible, more flexible when it moves. This looks like almost like the compression uh, tubes over here to keep the movement agile and maybe even make him uh, uh, more, more faster when it comes to moving. Uh, love, love the fact that they did a great job with this Hulkbuster. This is by uh, Diamond Select. This is a Disney exclusive. And the last Hulkbuster I'm going to talk about is the smallest Hulkbuster. This Hulkbuster is really cool. The only thing that um, I, I, I mean, I like it, but they could have done a little bit better is that, yes, the helmet is detachable. But instead of seeing Tony Stark's face, you see actually Iron Man's face. And it comes with a rocket launcher and uh, I guess like a plasma cannon. Very, very cool. Uh, this Hulkbuster looks almost... Uh, like a samurai kind of Hulk Buster. I like what they did with the sides of it. Uh, definitely like the um, the blaster that they gave it in the back. Very, very cool. Um, this is one of the Hulk Busters that would be great. Uh, you know, as far as smaller Hulk Busters is, is. Uh, this is by Iron Man's Wave. Uh, this is an Iron Man Hulk Buster uh, from Marvel Legends. Now, last thing I'm going to talk about is the storyline to the Hulkbuster. Why the Hulkbuster was made. A lot of people don't realize that the Hulkbuster was made by Tony Stark uh, along with other suits. But the reason why Tony Stark made so many suits is to make sure that he can take on all odds. And what I like about the Hulkbuster suit, it was made in particularly to fight off different kinds of foes. Some of those foes being um, like for instance, uh, Iron Monger was one of the foes that it had to fight off. That that's one of the reasons why the Hulk Buster was out there. Also, uh, Titanium Man, who is a very big villain in the Marvel world, uh, the Hulk Buster had to take him down. But the main reason why the Hulk Buster was built is for the legendary and the most incredible uh, person that you could probably imagine inside Marvel is Hulk. Uh, the Hulk Buster was made for this guy right here. And the reason why the Hulk Buster was created for the Hulk is because Tony Stark, obviously, in any other suit, cannot match power with the Hulk. Uh, the Hulk being increasing in strength and rage, and the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets, can break through almost anything. You see that in the Age of Ultron, uh, when the Hulk and Iron Man are fighting in the Age of Ultron. That is one of the key examples why the Hulk Buster was built. The Hulk Buster is to fight off stronger enemies, and not only that, but to outlast. Uh, Tony Stark had to build other suits, of course, based on the enemy that he had to encounter. But the Hulk Buster, very, very powerful suit. Love it. Like what they did with it. Um, you see it in the Age of Ultron, and you also see it uh, in, in the battles in the comic books against the Hulk. So guys, YouTube, I'm G Infinite. Love you guys. Please subscribe, hit that bell. Peace out, YouTube.